Hi guys, it's Mr. Nelson again. We're going to look at these wave uh, graphs, often called sinusoidal curves. Um, they represent simple harmonic motion. Uh, this is a problem you're going to look at at the end of the video. And to draw a graph like this, um, you need some sort of motion that repeats itself. So maybe it begins at some position. And then as it oscillates back and forth or swings back and forth, you can see that it repeats. Uh, on any graph, the local maximum points um, are called crests. The minimum points are called troughs. The, uh, the cycle that you graph as it curves and winds through the crests and troughs repeat themselves, and you start to see a pattern. We're going to observe several of these graphs, and I just want to show you how to construct one first. Here is our metronome. Let's let it swing. This is like a pendulum. You did this warm-up problem earlier, and let's just say I've got a stopwatch and I want to know how much time it takes to complete a complete swing. Let's start at one maximum, comes back in about two seconds, four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, about two seconds a swing. And if we looked at the amplitude of each swing, you could tell that this uh, metronome, if you looked at the amplitude as a uh, unit of distance that the pendulum swung back and forth from its center, maybe it swung about eight centimeters on either side. It took about two seconds to complete a swing. And then obviously another two seconds for its next swing. The pendulum started at one amplitude and then it swung back to the other side returning to its original position two seconds later, then it swung back to the other side, returned to its original position another two seconds later. So I'm going to draw the crests and the troughs first. And as it was swinging, it began uh, to pass through its center position halfway through crest and trough. So that would be the half second, the one and a half second mark and so forth. And this pattern continues. So you can see I'm starting to draw this wave-like graph, and that's what you're going to begin to see. I'm not going to have you construct these because they're a little difficult to do and submit as we're doing this distance learning, but you're going to see several of these graphs. There's one full cycle. There's a second cycle, and it repeats. The amount of time between successive crests would be the period. In this case, that's about two seconds from crest to crest. You can see that's repeated. You could also judge the amount of time from successive troughs, from one second to three seconds. That's a period of two seconds as well. You can measure the amplitude as the vertical rise from the center to a crest. That's eight centimeters. Or the distance, the vertical displacement down. So, you know, it doesn't matter if it, it rises eight or falls eight centimeters. Either way, it's eight centimeters. Um, so I'd like you to try this problem on your own and post your solutions. The original problem, look at the graph, identify the amplitude, the period, the number of cycles that are being graphed on this display, include your units, post and I will respond. 